Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. Uh, that is chemistry. And of course, we are going to continue our study on acid bases and salts. In this episode, I'll be looking at the uses of acids and bases. We are going to begin with some acids. I'm going to take two acids for this class. I will take two in the next and take the last ones in the third class. So I'm going to break it into three because there are so many acids and of course there are so many uses. And Jam usually picks uh, some of those uses and set them as exam questions for you. So please, you do not need to joke with them. Know the uses, just know them, know all the uses. And then of course, there are some important ones that Jam usually set questions from like how to remove rust from metals, that is the pickling and so many other ones, right? So please just join me in this class. Let's see the uses of uh, uh uses of acids we are beginning with hcl in this episode and h2so4 all right h2so4 all right so i'm going to look at what the uses of these two acids in this class in the next class we'll take another two and of course we'll round it up in the third in the third episode all right so now what you, you have definitely heard about hydrochloric acid before so hcl let's begin with hcl hcl all right uh it means it is of course uh full meaning is hydrochloric hydrochloric acid right it is also called muriatic acid muriatic acid right it also has another name called spirits spirits of salt all right so hydrochloric acid is called what? uh muriatic, muriatic acid it's also called what? spirits of salt these are the other names you can what i uh, encounter as what as hydrochloric acid so do not be confused when you see muriatic acid the right? same thing as what as hydrochloric acid now it's a what it's an aqueous solution of hydrogen chloride it's an aqueous solution so at most times you see in, in reaction on the right acl you know like aq beneath it right it is an aqueous solution of what of hydrogen what chloride hcl hcl is a colorless solution it's a colorless solution with a distinctive 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 pungent smell pungent smell it smells a lot right it has a distinctive pungent smell right and acl of course is classified as a strong acid it's a strong acid acl is classified as a strong acid now let's see uh, some of the uses of what of acl right let's see the uses the uses now number one it is used in the production of chlorides it is in production of chlorides and what other chemicals right acl is used in the production of chlorides and other chemicals it is used use in the production of chlorides and other chemicals all right two so, it is used in refining metal ores it is used to refine metal ores it is used and write it out it is used in refining Meta os os o r o e e g tin o all right so we are seeing the uses of what hydrochloric acid number one it is used in the production of chlorides and other chemicals it's useful in, in what in producing what chemicals also h2so4 is useful in producing what chemicals like fertilizers all right but of course uh, just know that what it's used in the production of all chlorides and other chemicals. Then number two, it is useful in refining metal ores. You want to refine the metal ore, right? Egypt, tin ore, HCl can be used to refine what tin ore. All right. So let's see number three. It is used for removing rust from metals. So if you want to remove rust from metals, you can use what hydrochloric what acid. Right? This process is usually called what pickling. P I C K L I N G is a typical exam question. Please know it and know peace. Pickling is a process. Is what is the process of removing what rust from metals, right? So hydrochloric acid can be used in that state for removing what rust from metals in a in a process called what pickling. P I C K L I N G, jot that one down, it's very important. All right, 
Another app used is for neutralizing neutralizing basic systems. Right? It is used for neutralizing what basic what system. We, we are going to do what neutralization. Right? Neutralization is a reaction between an acid right, and a base to form salt and water. So hydrochloric acid is useful in neutralizing what basic what systems. All right. Now let's see another use of hydrochloric acid. All right. It's, it can use it can be used as a catalyst. It's used as a catalyst, number five. It is uh, used as a catalyst in many organic synthesis. All right, so it is used as a catalyst in many organic or synthesis, right? Then we can speed up what the rate of a chemical what reaction. All right, it can speed up or what or slow down the rate of a chemical what reaction. All right, so now uh, that is what one of the, uh, the uses of what these are the uses of what of hydrochloric acid. Uh, there should be some more. Yes, of course. Number six for hydrolysis of starch. This for what for hydrolysis. Of starch, right? It is used word for the hydrolysis of starch and proteins, for starch and proteins, and in the manufacture of what various food substances, and in the manufacture, in the manufacture of various food substances. All right, so this is another use of what of hydrochloric acid. This is it is used for the hydrolysis of what of starch and protein, and in the what manufacture of various food substances. Right, so we have seen uh, six uses so far. It is used in the production of chlorides and other chemicals. One, it is used in refining metal ores, e.g., tin ore, and then I said it is used for removing rust from metals in the process called pickling. It is used for neutralizing basic systems. All right, I said it is used as a catalyst in many organic synthesis, right? And it's used for the hydrolysis of starch and protein in the manufacture of various food products, right? Also, I think last one, this one is also very important. It is used in the production of vinyl chloride. Or we call it polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride. Why you call your PVC? All right, all of you and you know what PVC is now, right? So uh, the chloric acid is useful in the production of us of PVC. It's called what vinyl chloride or what polyvinyl chloride. That's the full meaning of PVC. Oh, ah, uh, uh, come and do PVC in my house. You don't know the meaning. The meaning is polyvinyl. The full meaning is polyvinyl chloride, right? And ACL. Or hydrochloric acid is useful in producing what uh, polyvinyl chloride or PVC. So these seven uses of what hydrochloric acid, right? Just know them, know them, know them for free, right? And of course, two questions or three questions can all come out from here in an exam setting. All right, very simple, but easy to fail because what you don't know, you don't know. You can't give what you don't have. All right, please know these uses. Now let's see uh, H two SO four. I'm done with HCl. Let's see H two so four, all right. So H two so four, of course, the full meaning is what tetra ozosulfasis acid, isn't it? I'm sure we all know that that it is called tetra ozosulfasis acid. It is also it also has other names, of course. It has other names. It is tetra tetra cis acid. It is also called oil. Of vitriol. All right. The yeah, other name for it is what is oil of vitriol. It's also called matlin acid. Matlin acid. All right. It's also called what sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. All right. So these are the four names of these are the what the ways what uh, H2SO4 can be called in an exam setting. All right. So just uh, for free, I think the most important one you should know is what. That was also cis acid, also folic acid, right? They hardly ask you of this, all right? But of course, just know them for free. It's also called oil of vitro, called matlin acid, 
it's also called sulfuric acid all right so it is what it's colorless it has no colors in fact and it's odorless it has no color and so it is odorless h2so4 is odorless and has no color all right so that is for tetrahydrous of a cis acid now let's see some of the uses right let's see some of the uses of h2so4 and for those for those of you that are that drive cars in lead acid batteries, H2SO4 is very useful, right? It's used as an electro and as an electrolyte uses. It is used, number one. It is used as an electrolyte in lead in lead acid batteries. So H2SO4 is very useful as an electrolyte in what? In lead acid what batteries so please take note of that it is very important that you know that now it's also used as a dehydrating or drying agent but two it is used as a dehydrating dehydrating or drying agent all right i get that one it's very 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 self explanatory it is used as a dehydrating or drying agent so another use for it is used in industry to produce chemicals number three it is used in industries to produce various chemicals various chemicals e.g fertilizers All right, so h 2 4 is very useful in what in producing what chemicals and especially what fertilizers right it is very useful in producing fertilizer all right before you continue the video know that this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the old school jam cbt practice app it is the best cbt practice app that you have for practice there's a study mode on the app there's a practice mode there's an exam mode there's a mock mode all right so you can take several mock exams on the app right and it has all the past questions all the recent past questions up to last year all right, so please jump on the app. It's being currently displayed on the screen right now. Jump on it. And of course, there's a UTMA challenge that's been conducted for all students that are taking the jam exam for the part for this particular year. All right, so every week you come you participate, you compete with all other jam students, right? And then you win prizes. Winning prizes is not the major reason why we do that challenge. The major reason is so that was because you see your scores for for, for your first subject, so you are, you are able to see the areas where you need what where you need improvement you see the areas where you are strong and you see the areas where you are weak and you improve on your weaknesses all right activation of the app is just three thousand error as opposed as opposed to two thousand five hundred and two thousand error in the previous years all right so please jump on the app download the app it is not a must that you must have it but of course i'm recommending to you that it is very 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 what's important and it will help you a lot see the testimonies on this channel for more all right so well, I said what H2SO4 is called what marking acid and or oil of vitro or sulfuric acid and say it is used as an electrolyte in lead acid batteries. All right, then it is used as a dehydrating or drying agent, and of course, as I've intel before, it is used to produce what various chemicals, right, in industries and what uh, especially what fertilizers. So, number four, let's see another one. It is useful, it is useful in refining petroleum it is for refining what petroleum all right so in the refining of water petroleum h2so4 is very 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 what useful please do not forget to like this video do not forget to share to your friends so that they can also participate and what and what benefit from it do not forget to subscribe subscription is free just click on that red subscribe button just below the video right now please do it right now before we continue click on that red subscribe button and once you subscribe whenever we publish a new video you get a notification that what you have published a new video so that is what another was usefulness of what of h2so4 it is useful in refining petroleum right and this is also used as a domestic acid drain cleaner used it is used as a domestic acid drain cleaner all right so these are the uses of what of h2so4 tetrahydrous of a six acid used as an electrolyte in acid batteries used as a dehydrating or drying agent right it's used in industry to produce various chemicals especially fertilizers 
all right and it is useful in refining what petroleum and it is used as a domestic acid drain thinner and these are just few of the uses of h2so4 that you should what commit to your memory all right so in the next class we are going to see uh, uses of two other what acids right and then the last in the third episode in the uh, uh, episode to come after that i'm going to look at the last uh, last set of them and of course we go into the uses of business so this topic is quite wide but please join us stay with us keep following us and of course you'll get all the benefits from it my name remains oblo i will see you in the next episode